welcome to Makings. Yet yeah, we're out again on another freezing cold day. Uh, today I've come on Lizard, Peg 11, literally here to try and get a few bites today. Hopefully we'll catch a few carp. The Peg has had a bit of form, um, but over the weekend there was no carp caught at all. So we'll try and get a few bites. Uh, we're the only ones on the lake, apart from a bunch of noisy kids over there that are giving it all this. So uh, they should keep us entertained during the day. I'm gonna go off, just gonna get on my box and hopefully get a few bites. A few skimmers um, and a few roach. The swim went quiet for a few minutes. Had a few uh, strange sort of signs on the float, so and then it's buried, and here we are into our first carp. Even though it's winter, he's really giving it some. So I'm only on really light line and fishing an 013 main line to an 011 hook length, just to a white hydroelastic, so keeping it quite, quite, you know, nice and light for this time of year. So there's no rush. Not like the summer where you're bagging loads and loads of carp. In the winter you need to make everyone count. Well there you go, beautiful mirror, about five pounds, first one of the day. It's like holding a bar of ice. Absolutely freezing here today. Um, just shows you, just little and often, and that's all we're doing today, literally trying to fish for a bite. Um, we've had a few skimmers, few little roach and uh, went a bit quiet for a bit and there's a reward a nice sort of five pound mirror in the winter well happy with that one I'm gonna have another go now hopefully catch another there you go got another small skimmer on Nice small skimmer, Get, been getting a few of these in between. A nice sized fish, keep you interested in these winter months. What I do is I put them in the net and I'll just show you what we're feeding. When approaching commercial venues in the really depths of the winter, it's little and often is the best way to attack it. So today I'll show you through my baits and show you how I'm feeding it. Right, first of all, as you probably notice, I've got some corn. It's, it's soaked in water I like it in water because it makes the corn go a lot softer so it gives you a chance to catch another species like the skimmers and that when the baits a lot softer got my faithfuls three millimeter dynamite uh, betaine softened down micro pellets there they're ideal I'll take those to most venues where I can I like the darker color in the winter months so it's a great bait and then my two backup baits for today really my main approach is going to be corn on the hook feeding micros and corn but I've got some six and four millimeter pellets there, just soaked up dynamite ones. And I've also got my trustworthy, always get you a bite, a dead maggot. Right, basically what I'm feeding, got a tiny hook on there, size 18. I'm just picking out a nice soft piece of corn, squeezing the middle out a bit so it's a nice soft bit, fall through the water nice and slowly. Just hooking that straight through the middle, straight through the top, sorry, and then coming back through the middle hide in as much of the hook as possible so the corn will act as naturally as it can. Feed wise, I'm not starting my swim off with anything today, I'm literally starting with a kinder pot and that's the way I'm uh, progressing through the session. Three or four grains of corn in the pot there and then I like to put a few of the micros in as well, maybe 10, 15, just like that little extra bit, gives something to hold on the bottom as well as the corn uh, falling through. And the secret is, once you've tapped your bait in, I like to tap it in from a little bit of a height just to create a little bit of interest in the swim uh, because you're not putting your usual big amounts in on the bottom. And then I like to follow my bait in uh, nice and slowly over the top. Give, it, give the fish time because you've got a nice soft bit of corn on it, it will, it will flutter through ever so gently. Just give it a lot of time dropping through the water in these clear conditions. If that fish catches, an eye, uh, catches, a, catches a look at it, you've got a chance of picking him up as soon as that settles on the bottom. Right. Less of the talking, I'm going to go and do some fishing. Right, 
we've had a few fish, we've had a few bream early, got lots of bites and lots of signs early on. Uh, it went quiet for a little spell and we caught the carp. Same thing's happening again now. Probably been two or three minutes, no signs. The little fish seems to have gone, so hopefully the next time that float goes under, we could be into another carp. A little product I always like to have in my tackle box in the winter is the old marker pen, permanent marker. When the light's very different and you get a lot of white water in the winter months when the sun's not about, I literally like to use a marker just to paint the tip of my float, just so it stands out against the horizon. Literally straight onto the tip, just black it out, and you'll be surprised how well it shows up in the white water. Just a nice little tip that I like to use, mainly in the winter months, but it's always worth carrying a little marker pen with you. Whilst my rig's out of the water, let me talk you through what I'm using. Starting from the top, using a white hydroelastic today for a match top two with a polybung. The reason why I chose white is because I use it for all my winter carping. It's absolutely superb, nice and soft. It'll compensate for those smaller fish as well, like your skimmers and your roach, if need be. Coming to my main line, I'm using 013 N gauge to a 416 Chianti float, just with the tip blackened out there, obviously because of the light conditions. My bulker shot is about 18 inches two foot away from the hook. Uh, it's made up of number eights and a couple of number tens. And then I have two small number 11 droppers. One just above the hook length, and then just one on the hook length. The hook length itself is six inches of 011 N gauge down to an 18 LWG spade hook. Ideal for sort of winter baits like casters, corn, and your maggots. It's a lovely, strong, light hook. Right, that's my rig for the deepest water. Also today I have set up another rig for just coming up the shelf. Let me talk you through that one. Basically the hardware is the same. Got white hydroelastic again, 013 main line to an 011 hook length. Same size hook, LWG size 18. This one's just got a bulk slightly closer and this is for fishing just coming up the shelf. So this is in case the fish are not in the deepest water and they're just moving around on that shelf. Well, after losing that last one, I didn't know if I had enough time to get another bite, but I've gone straight back in. <clears throat> Seems though the fish are backed off. I've gone to 16 metres, still on the same line in the deeper water, and I've managed to uh, find another better fish. I think it's a carp. It feels like a good fish. Again, still feeding the same, just three grains of corn and a few micros. You know, it doesn't hurt to put a section on and go past there because you haven't made such a better bait. There's, you know, fish available, available to catch, sort of wherever in the swim. Here's a little carp. Here he comes. There you go, I'm gonna call this the last one of the day. Absolutely freezing gold here today. We've ended up with three carp lost one um, and god skimmers and roach probably best part of 20 pound so just shows you feeding little and often you know making the most of your swim you know can result in this so we've had a great winter days fishing i'm going to get this absolutely beautiful makings cart back and um, get wrapped up <laughs>